Hi there. So, that was really creepy, what the? Howdy partners, salutations, I hope you're all well. I decided, I was midway through filming another video and then I was like, I feel like people have been asking for an updated room tour. Um, since they seem to be pretty successful videos of mine. Um, my room hasn't really changed all that much since the last one I guess, but um, this I would probably say is a more realistic room tour because since I literally just decided to film it, I haven't had a chance to tidy up or anything. So this is realistic Harry Potter room tour, like, so yeah, Crocodile gets me. I feel like he has a puncture because I just hugged him and I heard the little sss of air. I hope you enjoy looking at my bedroom and seeing the Harry Potter stuff. Um, I'm gonna try and condense this to be as quick as possible. However, I'm gonna try and go into detail of some stuff on the shelves because last time I did that, uh, the room tour everyone was like, you didn't really talk about the stuff on your shelves. And I was like, well, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna try to do that this time. Okay, I'm gonna stop speaking now because the more I speak, the longer this video, I'm just... I hope you realize how difficult it is to film a room tour when you've got this massive soft box is plural. There's two behind me because it is problematic. What am I supposed to do with them now while I'm filming? I just right so I'm starting with uh, why is my hand shaking come on Laura get it together this is my bed um I have got new bedding since I last did a room tour this is Harry Potter bedding from Primark it cost 18 pounds and it's really cool because it's reversible so I'm just going to quickly go into some detail and see there's um Cornish pixies the crests and lightning bolt sorting hat all of that fun business. I'm just going to move Percy Jackson out of the way. Got that yesterday. Tres excited to be, I'm like halfway through. Anyway, off topic. And then on the other side, you can have it this way, which is also really nice. But I just wanted the black for now because I kind of preferred it. And then you've got a nice pillowcase along with that. Then we have my cushions, the house cushions. They are $19.95 each from the Harry Potter Studio Tour. You can buy them online as well. And they're definitely worth buying because they're so comfy. And they just like completely add to the Harry Potterness of a room. Then I've got these house banners and they were £12 each off Amazon. So you can just search up Harry Potter um, house banners and you'll find them. Back to the cushions. Don't know why I didn't just finish with the cushions. This is a Hogwarts Express cushion, as you can see. Um, and I got this from the Harry Potter Studio Tour shop, but from the... Um, next to the Hogwarts Express they've got a separate shop which is just pretty much all Hogwarts Express stuff and this was like 15 95 or 16 95 can't exactly remember because it was over a year ago I bought it now um, and I'm just going to do a slow zoom over to here to the Harry Potter cushion which I bought from the Platform 9 through Quarter shop um, which online they're selling for £12 um, I believe I got it for 9 in a sale but um, like it's really cool and one of my favourite cushions actually this is actually new. I've, I've realised that a lot of stuff has actually changed in my room. Oh, I didn't turn my fairy lights on. What am I doing? I'm turning on half the fairy lights because I've got my soft boxes plugged in over there. Anyway, I've got this new can canopy, which is actually really uneven now. I'm looking at it now. Um, it was better than this, and then it all got twisted when I slept last night, so please just don't judge me on this. As I said, I didn't have time to prepare. I've got these jazzy tin foil stars, which I made because I love being... An 18 year old officially an adult this is how I spend my time and then I've got this cool okay the net's in the way Harry Potter wall sticker which I got on eBay for like £4.50 or something ridiculous like that it was very 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 cheap which is really cool and then on the floor okay ignore the mess on the floor um, I have Crookshanks and Hedwig they did used to sit on my bed but then I got the new bedding and I realized they didn't really look right so I just had them on the floor for now and I got them from the Harry Potter Studio tour shop. Crookshanks was like 18 95 which is quite a lot for a stuffed cat. Uh, although next time I go to studios on the 27th, I am planning on spending £30 on a giant pygmy puff, so uh, I can't really talk. This is one awesome fella. I got him about four years ago when I first went to the Harry Potter Studio tour. You shove your hand up his butt and it's um, like a puppet. And it also squeaks. Wait, hold on a second. <gasps> Magic. Now this is actually something that's really cool but you're not getting the full appreciative effect of it because it's not dark. Um, but this is like a light box and I've got all of these letters slide out and you've got, I've got like loads of different ones. So you can put whatever you want in there. I got this from Lauren and Ella for my 18th birthday which I love. And I've got my Polaroids up here, some of the iconic ones. Um, which I made the cases using old Polaroid film case things that the Polaroid film come in. I made a video about that if you scroll down, like if you want to know how to make them, it's really simple. I actually didn't come up with the idea Ella Hankins did, which I give full credit for. Oh hey, look, it's my garden. Wow, washing on the line. We're doing improvement work in the garden at the moment, so please ignore that. Then I've got some cool photo strips from, this was from um, LFCC last year, which was one of the best days ever. I'm not going LFCC this year though, because I'm busy and it's really sad, but anyway, and then those are from when we went to studios last time. 
then I have my Gryffindor um, flag, which was like 15.95 or seven of what? I'm pretty sure I still have a tag on it. I know, I took the tag off. Okay. So I don't know how much it was, but they sell them at the Harry Studio Tour Shop, which is where I bought it. And I've got this Butterbeer mug thing, um, which is it's a tank card, actually. How did it get so cracked? Oh my gosh, I did not even know this was a thing. Oh my gosh, it's so cracked. When did this happen? I mean, I know when it happened. My cats are always up here knocking stuff off, but that's made me so sad. You guys don't even understand. Anyway, um, then I've got a quill, which is nice. And then I've got all of these wand key rings, which are really cool. I've got, um, why did my hand look like a claw? That's disgusting. Um, which are really cool. I made a video, a separate video on Harry Potter key rings, which they're featured in if you want more information. And I've got a Gryffindor pencil, which was like 99p. Oh, everything's falling. Then in this crevice, I've got some lovely photos. I'm just going to put my claw hand down here. Got the delight from my last day at college. Some Topshop photo booth photos from various banterous times. Top notch banter with the squad. Now I'm moving to the shelves. This is the exciting part. Here is a fan which makes my cat not come in here and cuddle me anymore because it's too loud. But I get really warm, so I need a fan. Um, I don't know why I'm starting with the middle shelf. This was poor planning. I took you to the top shelf. So up here I've got my spare copies of Harry Potter. I mean, I've got quite a lot of editions, but these this is like a separate shelf just for them. So I've got a different cover of Deathly Hallows, Prisoner of Azkaban, then I've got two Italian copies of Chamber of Secrets and Philosopher's Stone. Then I've got my pewter figures, which are some of my favourite pieces of merch. Hermione was one of the first pieces of merchandise I ever got when I was about four years old. You can find these on eBay, and they come in these cool little purple boxes. Um, and they read... They, go for roughly around 15 to 35 pounds depending on what one you're trying to get there is a Dumbledore one which is quite rare which I haven't been able to get hold of yet just because I don't want to spend crazy amounts of money because they are quite small then I have a first edition Harry Potter Goblet of Fire on the American covers which I got for Christmas just gone and then I have this really cool I'm going to get this down again. this is a 2001 merch um Harry Potter kaleidoscope I love kaleidoscopes um they're literally like one of my favorite things ever and so when I found this online for like four pounds I just had to get it I can't actually see what I'm showing you right now I think because I'm holding this completely above my head I'm so short I think this is a photo of me and the the squad um a bit awkward now but um when we went to the studios last time in the fly car it's pretty cool then I have this um play set which is but the burrow which i got when i was probably about five or six years old so these kind of play sets um i think go on online for like 15 pounds but i haven't really seen that many like on ebay or anything um then i have these cool oh my god i'm gonna sneeze um these are my die cast sets i'm not going to get them down to you because i do have a separate video on my die casts which if you scroll down there'll be a die cast haul video somewhere um but they're really cool and numbered and fairly rare um but you can still find them on ebay and stuff then I have a pygmy puff all the way up there, which was thirteen ninety five, and you can get them in pink from studios, although they started selling the giant ones, like I said before, which I'm probably going to go out and buy. Then I have another playset, which is the Forbidden Forest, which is pretty much exactly the same as the Burrow. The glare from my soft boxes are making this boxes are making this quite hard to see, but these are my pop vinyls. I have a Harry, Dumbledore, Dobby, another Harry, another Ron, Hermione, another Dumbledore, Snape. Voldemort and Hagrid. Now, my mum has said that she'll get me a pop vinyl for every A I get in my A levels. So there's a possible four to get. Um, don't really know if that's going to happen or not. Uh, <laughs> but she's instructed me I'm not allowed to buy any until next Christmas. So I feel like she's already bought me them and, and I won't show me them yet. So that means I can't buy any of like, the second wave or anything, which is a shame. But um, still pretty cool. And then I have this Mad Eye Moody Noble Collection replica hip flask, which I'm not entirely sure how much it was as I got it as a gift. Then I have in this frame, um, happiness can be found quote, which my friend did as like a typography thing, which she got me two Christmases ago, which I love. Then I have some dance medals, which I just have chilling. And then I have this really cool pumpkin juice bottle, which I got on eBay for like £15. It didn't have pumpkin juice in it. Trez disappointed. Then I have my Harry Potter and Philosopher's Stone um, illustrated, which is amazing. And I can't wait for Chamber of Secrets to come out. 
Then I have this cool acceptance letter by Shelf's Really Dusty Soz. Then I have these two snow globes, which I love so much. This one was probably my second piece of merch I ever got when I was four years old. Um, however, this isn't the original one. My original one is somewhere in my loft broken because I was sorting out my shelves when I must have been about 15 or 14. No, or 14, because it was just a couple of months before I went to studios for the first time. And I dropped something on this and this smashed. And then on the day I went to studios, I woke up in the morning, I looked at my shelf and it was fixed, which was impossible. And I was like, oh my God. And my mum was like, it's magic. And she'd actually just bought me a new one to pretend it was magic. So my mum's cute like that. Um, <laughs> and then um, I have these Harry one. You can find them on eBay, although they do go for quite a lot of money. And I think there's a Ron one as well. And there's possibly a Dumbledore. Then I have this box, which I made a separate video on when I got it. It's the Quidditch ball box collection thing, which recently came out. So it's a fairly recent video of mine. Bertie Potts and Flavor Beans that I've had for about three or four years now. So probably shouldn't be eating them, but I do occasionally. You can buy them from the Harry Potter Studio tour uh, for like 8 95 which is quite a lot for beans. But they're pretty cool. And then I have this um, cool to-do list, which has got like rip-off pages on the inside, which is Morda's map themed. Um, I can't remember how much this was. And I didn't leave it on. It's magnetic as well, so you can put it on your fridge and stuff. But it's quite heavy, so I haven't been able to do that yet. Um, and I think it was like 10 pounds or something like that it might be less i don't know and then i've got a big hogwarts platform nine three quarters ticket there you can buy like small ones from um, the platform nine three quarter shop but i bought that from the harry studio tour and it was like four pounds then i've got these two notepads they were like 10 pounds each and i got them from um costco but you can buy them from waterstones harry studio tour shop platform nine three quarters roughly around that and they do them in the other houses as, as well which is pretty cool um and they're just really good quality notepads although i don't like writing in them because they're so pretty then I have this, um, everything needs a real good dust, I'm so sorry about this. Then I have um, a bookend, I've got another one somewhere, um, which my mum bought me for Christmas a couple of years ago, so I'm not entirely sure how much it was, but you can find them on eBay. Oh, and then I've got this necklace, which is, um, where is it? There it is. It's um, the night bus, which is really cool. And that was like 9 95 from um, Platform 9 3 Quarter Shop and they sell them at studios. They do loads of different necklaces. I've got like a Dobby one, a um, Golden Snitch, a Quill. Yeah, loads of them. And they're all really reasonably priced, I think. Then I have these two. Oh my God, right. So my hands are gross me because I had really bad fake tan from when I went out last night. So don't judge me on that. Um, but I have these two cute little figures. Okay, they're kind of creepy looking. But it's Hermione and Ginny, and these were some of my first pieces of merch I got. They were probably a couple of pounds each from, like, Toys R Us. I have no idea if you can still buy them. And then I have this cool... Um, it's actually a Christmas tree decoration that I got from Harry Potter Studios for £13.95 a couple of years ago, but I know they still do them and they do other house ones as well. And then I have my three artifact boxes, which I'm not going to go into because I do have an artifact box video somewhere, scroll down, which shows all of the details of what's in them, but they were about £30 each. And um, then I have some Polaroids that are sticking in there. Um, they're the selfies that didn't make it. I hide them around my room so no one will ever see them. And then I have the Creature Vault and the Character Vault, which I got from Costco because they were so cheap. They were like £15 each as opposed to £25. But you can get them from the Studio Tour website, from Amazon, um, from Waterstones, loads and loads of book places. Then I've got this cool Gringotts um, money tin, which I got from the Platform 90 Quarter Shop. It's part of their new stock and it was 9 95 but definitely worth it because it's so cool. Um, and then I've got these two die casts, which I'm not entirely sure how much they were because I've got them off eBay. But they're part of my, di uh, they'll be mentioned in my die cast video if you want to scroll down and see that and I've got a random Harry Potter DVD that I was watching the other day um and a Cinderella story one of my absolute faves then I've got my Hogwarts Express die cast then I have these which you can't really see them well because of the light and the dust but they're Harry Potter stamps which I just got given for Christmas one year then I have my sticker kit collections which I've got they're usually around six pounds each six or seven pounds although some of them are like five pounds um depends on what you get I've got um, the ones you see there and then they also do the time turner and they do Harry's wand, Hermione's wand, um, a whole bunch of other cool ones which I haven't like got yet. Um, although I've got like the time turner and the other necklaces and whatnot. Then I have this cool light which my mum got off um, Etsy I think a couple of Christmases ago for me or a birthday. Um, I can't remember how much it was but like it's really cool and it's filled with fairy lights and it's just pretty jazzy. Then I've got some more Noble Collection stuff here There's which I've gone into in my Noble Connection video. Then I have a few more play sets and the other uh, bookend and some photos all just shoved in there. More Harry Potter books. Everything's so dusty. I literally usually dust my room three times a week because of my allergies to dust. However, 
Um, I've been away in Manchester all of last week and um, ill, so that hasn't happened. So my room's gross at the moment. I've got my quaffle, which was £14.95, which you can get at Harry Potter Studio Tour, and my Golden Snitch, which is part of the sticker collections, which was £5 or something like that. Then I've got um, two Harry Potter colouring books and the graphic art of Harry Potter, um, plus a Harry Potter textbook, which you can buy all of them from Wardstones, Amazon, Harry Potter Studio Tour, and the Platform 93 Quarters shop. Down here's a bit of a mess. I've just got a fi uh, fanged frisbee, which costs like £12 or something like that. Another butterbeer tankard, which has got pens in. A rememberal, a t punching telescope. Um, these are like my Weasley's Wizard Weezes stuff. A nice photo frame of me and my friends. Um, I've got my bludger down here. I've got a de cycling Dolores Umbridge, which was about £15, but it's actually really cool. And one of my favourite pieces of merchandise, which is, my, of course, my extendable ears, which were fourteen ninety five, and they work pretty much exactly as they're supposed to. Then I've got a Gryffindor, no, it's a Hogwarts Crest Cup, which was like 9 95 from Studios. I've got a couple, like, a couple of times of the go. Then I've got these cool Harry Potter, Harry and Ron. Um, they're actually walkie-talkies, which my grandma sent me that she found in a, she lives in Spain, and um, she sent me them in the post that she found in a charity shop, which was pretty cool. Then I've got on my Hermione's beaded bag, which is something I made, which I spoke about in a Harry Potter DIY video a little while ago. And then a wand box for a chocolate wand. This video is going to be so long, but it's uh, I'm just going to whiz through my books now. So I do my books in colour order, as you can pretty much see. I've got all my black books up there, then I've got a nice Hank bobblehead to match my great red books. Um, I have a I've got a fairly recent um, bookshelf tour, I think. Um, on here I've got my provisional driving licence, my bank card, my cursed child tickets, which is very exciting, and my Harry Potter Studio 4 tickets, which is all very exciting stuff. Then I've got my John Green bobblehead. You can buy the Hank and John Green bobbleheads from dftba.com for around £30. I got given them by my brother for Christmas. Um, I've got my Bell Pop vinyl, which I love, that Becca got me for my birthday. Um, and then I've got some more books. That copy of The Casual Vacancy is signed by J.K. Rowling. I know, it's one of my favourite possessions. Then I've got um, random books along the bottom here. I'm kind of out of space at the moment, so I've had to start stacking my books in the corner. I don't really know what I'm going to do because I'm literally entirely out of space. Um, some of my fave parts of my room, I've got my big Harry Potter Gryffindor banner, which I got from the Harry Potter Studio tour shop, and it was like £20. Quite expensive, they do them in all the houses, but it's really good quality as well, so I mean, I think it was definitely worth it. Then I've got my suspended broomstick, which is all messed up at the moment because my brother came in here this morning and he's really tall and he like headbutted it and it just kind of went everywhere and I didn't fix it. So yeah, that's just chilling. Then I've got these two posters, which I got from the um, Harry Potter Studio Tour for 4 95 each. You can buy these still at Harry Potter Studio Tour and from Platform Learning for Three Quarters. And I've even seen them in HMV as well. Um, so you can find them fairly cheap. Then I've got this Platform Learning Three Quarters door sticker, which I did get for Etsy years ago from Etsy years ago for £30, although I don't know if you can still buy them because I've had loads of people ask me, I've directed them to Etsy and they haven't been able to find it, so I'm not entirely sure if that's still possible to buy. Then I have all my like main Harry Potter books from my original collections and then a random um, Monster Book of Monsters, which I got off Amazon, I believe, for like £15. They, I, but I haven't been able to find one that's like this anymore. They do a weird felt one, which isn't quite as cool, um, but that they sell at studios. But yeah, like, I'm, like I said, I'm not really a big fan of that one, um, but um, I've had a lot of people ask about it. And then I've got my Wizards collection, which I've got a separate video on because it's one of my best pieces of merchandise that I have. And then I've got a, a Beater's Bat just chilling in the corner. I've just got some random books piled up here because I'm out of space. Um, the and then some random parcels. This is some embroidery thread, some Polaroid film, my plays for classics, um, my Hamilton, and then my new Harry Potter books, which I got from Costco. Um, I got the whole set for like thirty pounds, which was really cheap. And um, this is the set I'm taking with me to uni because I don't want to risk taking my main original set with me. Now I have my mirror, which is kind of all over the place at the moment. Usually it's kind of neat, um, but on here I have a pygmy puff. Um, keychain which was like eight pounds or seven pounds from studios and uh, oh my god a tiara just fell on me it's just a sign that i'm supposed to be a princess but yes um this is really grubby because he was on my school bag for years well i say years not that long it's not that old but you can see all of these details in my um keyring collection and i have a birdie box every flavor bean bag bean bag it's not a bean bag but it's a bean bag that's so weird what am i saying I got this on eBay for like £12. They used to sell them in HM, 
HMB, I'm lying. They used to sell them in Marks and Spencers when the film first came out. Then I've got this, which was a Noble collection. This was really expensive. Um, Deathly Hallow symbol. Um, and it did used to have the cool diamond in it, but then it fell out and it's gone forever. Um, and then I've got a platform and three quarters lanyard thing, which I don't know is probably about eight pounds. Some Dumbledore glasses, some Harry Potter glasses, my Horcrux locket. Um, some photos. Hey, look, there's baby Laura doing a ballet show. How cute. And then I have some, a Gryffindor hair thingy, my jig. Um, and some Simpsons. Some more bit. Look, baby Laura and my brothers. And then a Polaroid of my rib. Polaroid of the squad. And then this was me at my, like, 14th birthday party, which was Harry Potter themed, obviously. Then I have a Chudley Cannons Put, like banner thing this was like 10 pounds um and was really cool i think they did them for the other um teams as well like hollyhead harpies and stuff although i'm not entirely sure then i have my spectra specs they were 12 pounds of amazon i don't know if you can still buy them like i'm pretty sure you can but like i've only ever seen the studios the paper ones which aren't as cool then i've got um a couple of different time timers up here um the diadem of ravenclaw uh this cool watch thing with their pianos on it um and a golden snitch thingy majiggy some more photos of me and yaz from the allegiant premiere last year then this cool um snow globe which is a hogwarts express snow globe which was like 18 pounds but definitely worth it because it's so jazzy that i got from the harry Potter studios last year and then i have this patch which i'm probably going to sell onto something to wear to cursed child next week um but they sell these and loads of other patches for like 4.95 at studios and platinum and three quarters then i have a chair which i decoupaged when I was in like E9 or something, so it's got loads of photos of me when I was like a baba and the bits of Harry Potter. Um, so that's nice, um, all fun and games. And then I have my first ever point shoes from when I was like 11, they're completely trashed. And then I have this little fella who I bought before my last exam, um, and he's pretty cool. Um, I feel like I called him Rex, but now I can't remember. That's a real shame. And my Polaroid in its cool little case. A lot of people always ask me what's written on my door and honestly it's the first eight pages of Philosopher's Stone which I started about three years ago and then stopped because the fumes of using a sharpie were getting to my head and then I just never carried it on. Maybe I'll make that a challenge to do finish that this summer um, but yeah that's pretty cool and then I've got a Hogwarts banner which is the same as those ones and a random inflatable crocodile which I didn't really discuss at the beginning of the video, don't know why I was holding it, um, found him in the room where I keep my filming stuff really. So that's my room. I mean, I would show you the inside of my wardrobes, but you don't want to see that mess. Um, I a lot of people ask me like sort of like how do you save money to um, to be able to afford to buy all this stuff um, and all this. I'm I'm lucky that I get stuff for my birthday and Christmas. My mum and dad work very very hard. My mum has like five jobs. It's insane. I recently just quit my job though, so I I don't really have any money at the moment. But I've saved up so I can have a good summer. And then I start university, so I'm going to have even less money. So um, I'm not going to do a major haul when I go to studios this time, just because I really don't have the money to spend, um, because I am going travelling and whatnot. But I will try and buy a few bits and pieces and make like a video about it, because I do want to get some things. Um, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the inside of my room where I spend 200% of my time. Literally, I hardly ever leave this place. That's a lie, but like, well, no, it's not. Recently, I just spend all my time in bed, which is very comfy. I kind of look like a grumpy old man today. Why did I just talk about that? Before I go off on any more tangents, I'm also starting to feel like my glands are coming up a little bit, so um, I need to rest because I've got a very big week ahead of me. Um, but yes, I hope you enjoyed this.